Okay, this is something we need to do uh, from time to time with, with new people in the gym, um, is figure out how to exactly adjust the TRX strap. So, multiple uh, things we need to, to take into account when we do this. So, there's different lengths of the TRX, and generally when we do classes in here, you're gonna either be fully shortened or you'll either be mid-cap, and you'll understand what these are as I go along here. But fully shortened is basically these little yellow tabs are all the way at the top of the actual straps of this of the TRX, right? Um, Mid-calf is when basically this foot cradle is in the middle of my shin for the most part. Um, so how we adjust this is if we want to lengthen the straps, we do them two at a time, right? So I'm gonna take these little levers right here, I'm gonna pull them away from the straps together, and then I'm going to lengthen the straps to, for us, mid-calf. So it's basically where the handles are kind of touching your kneecaps. And then we're at mid-calf, and we can, we can go into any position where it's either toes in, you know, where our hands are on the ground and our feet are in the straps, or we can do any of our other things like chest press, uh, blah, 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 our squat patterns here, um, or some other things like rollouts and kneeling exercises. So that is how you lengthen the straps, two at a time and then to the appropriate level. To shorten the straps, you do one at a time and you're gonna still take that same lever, right? You're gonna grab this yellow tab, so you're gonna pull the lever away, right? Make sure it's perpendicular to the strap. You're gonna grab the yellow tab, and then you're gonna shorten it to where you need to shorten it to. Generally for us, we'll shorten it to fully shortened, and we'll do the other one, same thing. Make sure it's per uh, perpendicular all the way up. If you don't make sure it's perpendicular, what you're doing is basically you're ripping away at the straps and you're going to wear them down and then they won't work anymore. So that's why we, we kind of make sure we go perpendicular here. Um, now there's a couple other lengths of the straps and one of them is overshortened, which you'll see from time to time, but basically you'll take the outside strap just like this, you'll pull that uh, lever again, and now we're gonna pull the outside strap only up. And see now this handle is shorter than this handle. And we would do that at the same time, or, we would do that with the same, the same thing on the other uh, strap because we're going one at a time when we shorten, right? So I would do that same thing, take the outside and go here, right? So now it's much shorter. When I lengthen this from over short, and this is the only time you do this because we don't want this to get twisted up like a, like a old seatbelt. I'm gonna take this, tap this lever and I'm gonna open it and I'm going to kind of like guide this into the right position because see how it's already twisting up. I would guide that into the right position as I take it back to fully shorten. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here, make sure that stays put. I'm gonna flip it over because it's getting all twisted. And now I'm back to fully shorten, all right? Another one, single handle mode. So generally, we would do it like this. You can see two triangles here in the handles, right? Where my hands are poking through. So I'm gonna take one whole hand and I'm gonna, I'm gonna mash this all together. And I'm gonna stick that through this triangle all the way through, right? So now I have this handle that's stuck through. Now I'm gonna take this triangle, I'm gonna smash this handle a whole bunch and I'm gonna stick it all the way through that triangle. I'm gonna take that through and then I'm gonna pull the second one as tight as I can, right? Just like that. So now I have a single handle mode. You'll see that this kind of looks like a little mustache is what they call it, but um, it's weaved out and out, right? And so if, as long as I'm grabbing the right handle, this is really secure, right? So those are adjustments on the straps, right? Now to unhook this, all I do is take this out of this triangle, and then I take this one out of this triangle, and we're back to biz, right? Now, here are the other things. Getting into toes in, right? So I've taken this to mid calf, right? Toes in is very, very easy, right? And we screw this up because we, we want to start toes in, but if we're patient enough, this will be the simplest thing you do. I'm gonna take each of the foot cradles, I'm gonna grab them at the bottom. I'm gonna pull them towards me, 
and I'm gonna stick my feet through, just like that. Then I'm gonna let go. I'm not gonna do anything with my feet. Now from here, all I'm gonna do is bring this foot over the top of that one, and then I just follow it through. And now I'm toes in, right? It's that simple. Now to get out, that's it, right? And that's how you do that. Now, to go suspended, you're gonna take both handles, right? You're not gonna grab up here to do this. You're gonna take both handles just like this, all right? Now, if, if this is in my right hand, which it is, I'm gonna face away from the anchor point. I'm gonna stick this next to my right leg and then I'm gonna make sure I'm right next to the anchor point. Stick this right next to my right leg. I'm gonna take my left leg behind me, stick my foot through, and then I let go and I'm there. And so I'm ready to do my suspended lunge. Now, if you don't have great balance, an easy way to get out of this is like this. And this is the preferred way to get out of this. Oh. Right. Last one, heels in. This is, this is a little easier. You're gonna take those same foot cradles again. I'm gonna roll back. I'm gonna stick my heels in this time and replace. And those are your adjustments on the TRX.